because a lot of things on YouTube that may not be the best idea. <laughs> Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming on with an important video to discuss one of the topics that is buzzing around the natural hair community right now, which is the shaving of edges. Should I shave my edges? Should you shave your edges? I think more importantly, the discussion is just what to do when you are facing extreme hair loss, even alopecia, what to do to help bring your hair back and recover. So that's what I want to talk about today to give you the science, give you the facts, and just help you out, inform you to hopefully help you with your hair journey. So the first thing to do if you notice extreme breakage, hair loss, etc., is to try to figure out what's causing it. Is it hereditary? If you've actually been to a doctor, what are they saying? Or is it something that you are causing with tension, with tight styles, tight braids, weaves, crochet braids, and so on? A lot of times people don't realize that even puffs and buns can also lead to breakage and tension. So I call it somewhat of a silent killer because to you it may not seem like that much tension, but if you wear your puff in the same place or you wear your bun in the same place all the time, you often tend to notice breakage in certain areas that correspond to where you wear your bun. So other things that can cause, of course, extreme breakage is moisture protein imbalance. I have a couple of great videos discussing that. Product allergies is also another surprising to some reason why you can be experiencing just hair loss and scalp irritation and so on. So that's something else to look into. As well as, of course, medical issues or just your overall health. If it's not styles, Definitely go to a doctor or dermatologist if possible to help you diagnose if you can't pinpoint it. So figure out what it is and if possible try to stop it. If you know for example that tight weaves or braids is pulling out your hair, try to find different styles. Even if it's just temporarily, try to find different styles until your hair can recover. I notice sometimes people talk about they're losing their edges but they have their hair pulled back and slid back and laid. That's not the way to regrow your edges. The way to regrow your edges is just to stop all tension, all pulling, all manipulation on your edges. Just give it a break. Try to think of different new creative styles that can reduce the tension in that area. So you know what the issue is. You've stopped if you can the issue. If you can't, well, you still want to try to treat it as best as possible. Okay, so how do you treat it? Do you grab one of these? Yes or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. So I'm going to give you a hint. The answer is no, please. This is not for any hair that you actually want to keep. And the reason I say this is, yes, you do definitely want to trim the area. So I definitely recommend trimming the stressed and damaged area. But even if the hair loss is really bad and it's like to your scalp and really low, you never want to shave it. If you must, I would suggest getting some clippers and doing like a buzz cut or a fade. Better yet, getting a barber attached to the clippers that can do a proper job of just clearing it up. So that's if you really must start over if it's that bad. Otherwise, you can get some shares and just make sure you get each damaged strand to get all the split ends, all the dry brittle ends off. Because there's no point in regrowing your hair if it's going to be breaking off at the same rate because the ends are damaged. So first thing to do for me is to trim but not this. The reason I say not this is because nothing good comes from this for hair that you want to keep. You can end up with scalp irritation, you can end up with infected follicles, you can end up with ingrown hairs, you can end up with scarring. I'm not saying like a huge big scalp, but even tiny little micro cuts and scabs on your scalp can actually result in scars that can prevent your follicles from being able to push out healthy hair. So this that's just a definite no. If you have to start over, use clippers or something that leaves a little bit of hair and doesn't attack your scalp the way this does. This can actually even damage your actual skin, damage the lipid barrier on your skin and prevent you from being able to retain moisture in that area, which is not what you want, of course, because you want moisturized, healthy area for ideal hair growth. So just toss that away and we can continue with the treatment. <laughs> so after you've trimmed the area, the next step is to get your scalp healthy. And the first thing you need to do is clarify your scalp, clarify your hair with a nice clarifying shampoo. And I wouldn't necessarily say on the same day, but you can actually exfoliate 
with a sugar scrub or salt scrub. I usually recommend sugar because that's anyway moisturizing. So just get some sugar, not too rough, a finish grade of sugar, and mix it with some oil and a little bit of aloe vera gel, and you have a perfect scrub. So just get in there and exfoliate to again remove some of the dead cells and so on. I do have a video on scalp exfoliation as well. And of course, you want to keep your scalp clean. I do not recommend people putting grease and even just products like conditioner, deep conditioner, things like that on your scalp. Those things should stand near to the root of your hair but not on your scalp. Because your scalp you want to keep clean. Clean scalp produces sebum, clogged scalp does not or does not produce as much as it produces enough. And traps dirt and everything. So your treatment could actually be backfiring if you are trying to moisturize by putting heavy products on your scalp. So what can you put on your scalp? I recommend aloe vera gel, aloe vera juice, carrot juice. Those are great to moisturize your scalp as well as promote sebum production. I would mix personally like an aloe vera juice and carrot juice spritz and apply that to your scalp to moisturize. If you need a little bit more moisture retention, you can add a few drops of oil like a penetrating oil like avocado oil. That's an ideal moisturizing just daily whenever you need spritz to have at hand for a healthy scalp. The next thing you want to do is stimulate your scalp. So to do that, scalp massage, check out my scalp massage video. In that video I recommend once a week, but if you're really trying to regrow your hair, you may want to do it a couple times a week. And just relax, maybe watch TV or something and get in there for a good, you know, 15 minutes, half an hour, whatever you need to just, you know. And definitely check out my video for the correct way to scalp massage because a lot of people are doing it the wrong way. So definitely check out that and that will really help you with your growth as well. So in addition to the actual physical scalp massaging, stimulating oil, stimulating juices can also help to promote growth. They promote blood flow in the scalp, which also helps to keep your follicles healthy and working at their prime. So I recommend essential oils like peppermint, which is my favorite, or rosemary, lavender, anything like that. And of course you need to dilute them in a carrier oil. So a little bit of avocado again, I like avocado, but maybe a few drops of castor oil and your, a few drops of your essential oil will make a great massage oil. And you don't need to like cover your whole scalp in it. You mostly just need to get on your fingers and put your fingers on your scalp and that will be enough to stimulate your scalp without flooding your scalp and your hair and your sofa and everything with oil. Another great stimulant to use is onion juice which is actually great also for hair growth. That I would do as a treatment just because of the strong scent. So I would do like an onion juice rinse but also once I have it in there I would massage my scalp with that. And that is safe to do as often as you want to. Of course, if you're bad and you think you can leave onion juice in, you're free to mix it with any of the other treatments that I mentioned earlier as well. But for some people, it scents really strong, so a rinse is ideal. And of course, you want to be as healthy as possible. You want to drink lots of water, eat lots of fruits and veggies and exercise and things like that. That's also going to help you with your hair growth and just your life in general. So that's the final tip. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Other than that, just have patience and keep working on it and you will eventually see results. Of course, like I said at the beginning, you want to see a dermatologist first, but if they clear you and they say, yes, there's some trauma, but it's not permanent, then you can definitely take these steps to get your hair to the next level without damaging your scalp by shaving it. And of course, I have lots of videos on actual hair care, so you can check out those for maintaining the hair that has grown out. But I recommend deep conditioning every week or two and protein treatments every month or two. Trims, I get my trim every six months, however often you need it. And of course, in general hair care, you also want to take care of your edges. At least midweek, you want to give it a light spritz and at least apply a little bit of leave-in to keep them moisturized. Because you wash your face and everything, your edges get drier than you realize. So that was like my 30 second hair care tip for keeping the hair actually grows out. So that's it. So I really hope this was helpful. I did not shave my edges. I have them as you can see. <laughs> and I would like everybody to have healthy edges. So hopefully these tips will work for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I saved somebody from the razor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you're going to try any of these tips or if you're having issues with your edges or hair growth in general. 
I recommend my channel if you are looking for growing healthy hair. I will see you in the next one. Bye!